Now, interesting thing, nearly everything, nearly everything can be made interactive with Tushare. For example, we can hack living creatures, make interactive plants and animals, anything you want. We already made human interactive, but it's not interesting. And actually, uh, you should remember that in Disney, we already have interactive animals, right? This is Winnie the Pooh, and it may come with a shock, but there's a guy inside, right? So, in case um, of the stuffed animals, in case of like the big walking creatures, you know, we just put a person inside, and it works just fine. But you cannot do the same thing with the plant, right? There is no space to put a guy inside. So, uh, what do we do? So, with our technology, you can make this plant interactive really easily, right? So... Let me show how it works. You just, again, you just take a, uh, an electrode, you stick into the plant, and now this plant becomes in, 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 you connect to the, our little board. The board doesn't change again. It's exactly the same board. And now the plant knows where you're touching. You can see the line changes depending where you're touching the plant. And now you can turn this plant into the musical plant. Oh, it can talk to you, or it can tell you a story, a bad story. <laughs> You can also de determine proximity, so you can, as, as, you, as you're kind of fondling the plant, it can respond to you. I can make maybe a calendar with a plant. <laughs> I don't know if it's useful or not, but I just I'll throw it in there. You know. <laughs> Anyway, you know, the interesting thing about the plants, the plants are very amazing. Plants have a very, dis very distinct structure, right? You have, a, you have a stem, stem leaves connected to the stem, and the electrical properties of connections between stem and leaves are always the same. So depending on how the plant is constructed, you have electrical structure in front of you growing from the ground, right? So you have all these different plants, and all of them have very different electrical properties, right? So we can distinguish... Uh, we can, so each, each plant would have its own character, right? So we can map interaction of the plant into its character. So we went on and we kind of built this very uh, kind of quite developed experiences to see how it would work if, if, if a plant would be able to respond to you and uh, to your touch and also respond to you visually. And each plant have a character, right? So this is an orchid. So these are three installations we built with uh, different plants, bamboo, orchid, and there's one more plant you cannot see in the background. So orchid is a very angry plant. It doesn't like to be touched. There's actually a practical reason behind it, because it's very fragile. So if you touch it too strongly, it starts to get really angry. So the image is overlaid on top of it. We have a monitor behind half, mirror, half silver glass, so you can see both reflection of the real plant and the, and the computer graphics reflected, uh, projected from the monitor. So we did a demonstration of this plant. We got a bunch of, bunch of prizes, uh, different design exhibitions and art exhibitions. And um, uh, people would play with this thing for an hour, so uh, for hours. And we have to take them away from the, from the orchid. And so on. So this is another, another plant, and this plant is, responds better to the sliding features. As you're sliding it up, there's like a fountain of particles coming from the plant. And I think the interaction is very specific to the plant. So now you can see, we can start, we can start using plants, leaving, breathing plants.